everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to do this DIY cement coaster. Let's see how it works. So first of all, I don't even have the mold. So I don't know how to do this. So I'm just going to improvise and use cardboard boxes to create the mold that I want and then wrap it with tape under bottom so that it will hold long enough so that it will dry in the morning. So right now I'm just going to be making the shape of the mold I want. I want a diagonal one, but I don't think I can do that. I might have just to do the simple one, the square, because I don't think I can even pull up a circle. So I took old, I took cardboard boxes. I got like um old pizza box and some old Amazon box. I'm just gonna cut those up into the shape that I want, and then I'll get back with you. I just want a diagonal. Why? Hey, we have a container. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. what I'm doing is um, I'm cutting this cardboard into the shape that I want and then using extra cardboard framing around it and then tape it all up to get this kind of container you know so the cement can stay in there and won't spill out hopefully it'll stay The cement has rocks inside them, and I don't think rocks is good for this kind of project. So I sat. I don't think it's leaking. So good. I just went out and got some more. Um, I have to whisper, sorry, because my parents are sleeping, and so is Austin. But um, I just went out and got some more cement, and this piece of paper that I leave all these on are wet. So the water is leaking out, but the cement is still inside. So I think that's fine. I'd be mad at the fact that my cement had rocks in it. Like, I didn't know that. When people bought it online, I didn't know they didn't say anything about rocks. I have to sit there and strain all the damn rocks out. Actually, I just finished laying them out, and this is what it looks like. And we're gonna come back outside tomorrow to see what it looks like. Okay, so good night, guys. So here, what it looked like? I kind of dropped this one, so it cracked. I'm very sad. Bottom's a little bit wet, or like still needs some more drying time. So I'm just gonna take it out, flip it upside down, and put it out of the sun. Yeah. And so my coaster is still drying up. And while we're at it, I thought it would be nice to do a flower pot. If I wanted to do a flower pot that goes outward, the top has to be slightly bigger going out like this. So I don't know how to measure that, so I think I'm going straight up. Is that dumb? I don't think so. This will take a lot of cement and a lot of sifting. Okay, this is huge. Okay, y'all, I got it all figure out. This, this fit right in here. That's perfect. I'm gonna do that. 
So now we gotta make another sift. Because the first one broke. Okay, so I put the raisin box in. Now I'm just gonna position it where I want it and then put the rocks in to hold it in place. What's up everybody, welcome back. Today I am going to continue to do what I did not finish the other day. So apparently you gotta sand them a little bit. So I ran to Walmart and bought some sandpaper. Brush. Now that is dry, I'm gonna put some this kind of paper on it for the bottom so it doesn't scratch the table. time making that DIY marble coaster it took me in the span of a week because I started doing them on the weekend and then I left to move up to college so I left it at home and when I came back I didn't have enough time to go get all the material so I finally did it and finally finished I will show you guys the finished product I hope you guys enjoyed that little DIY video and if you do please give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions or if you have a project in mind that you want me to do next please leave it in the comment section below and subscribe to see more of me and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye